control of your personal belongings. Okay, you stuff back? Yep. Passports? Mm -hmm. Just got to Costa Rica. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> okay, we got to Costa Rica yesterday and we got here like at 12 p.m. But it was like an hour drive to the Airbnb. And then, yeah, we were just trying to find food and stuff. And the, um, the sunset's actually really early. So it was like six o'clock. It was super dark outside. I didn't get to show you guys the Airbnb. So I'm gonna show you guys the inside of it today. So as soon as you walk in, you see this cute little living room. And obviously we already have our stuff, stuff everywhere. So it looks a little bit messy. But it's really small and cute, but it's perfect just for two people. It has like an industrial vibe to it. And then over here is the bathroom. Cute. Nice shower. I like the shower head. And this is what the living room area looks like from this side. This is me. And then we have a little tiny hallway walkway. And then we have the bedroom. <laughs> and we have patacones. They're really good, actually. Tostones. Tostones. But yeah, this is the little bedroom area. Nice little window. Nice little nightstand, mirror. We're about to go get some breakfast right now. It's like six o'clock in the morning. We woke up super early. Well, it's actually 7.23 right now. We woke up super early because we're two hours behind East Coast time, so. In DC, it's like 9.30 right now, or about to be 9.30. So we're about to go get some breakfast and start our day and hopefully it doesn't rain. I'm also gonna show you guys the outside of the Airbnb right now. This is what the outside of the Airbnb looks like. It's super humid. So I feel like my camera is clogging up right now. Hold on. This is what it looks like as soon as you walk in. It has like an industrial vibe to it. It's super cute. A little pool, a little floaty. We were in here yesterday. And then we're actually renting these bikes today. And yeah, we're gonna go get some breakfast and see where the day takes us. It says it's supposed to thunderstorm, but hopefully not. It only says like 60%. I haven't ridden a bike We just got to our breakfast location. I don't know what this place is called, but it's super cute. We got $7 coffee, unlimited. I think we might get mimosas even though it's 7 o'clock in the morning. But I'm about to order some oatmeal and some fruit and maybe a mimosa. Intro. We just got done with breakfast and we're biking to the beach. The beach is right there. It looks so cute. I'm so happy it's still sunny. There's a guy behind us.
was yawning, I had my eyes closed. And when I looked at my eyes, the fucking dog was right there. I got so scared. And then I seen two other ones running over here. <laughs> We're back on our bikes. We're trying to bike to another beach that's like 13 miles away. Or no, it was 13 minutes away by the car. But we're biking, so I don't know. I feel like we've been biking for like 10 minutes now, but at least the views are nice. How much longer does it say? Okay, you guys, we just got to like this little bike shop on the side of the road as we're trying to go to another beach because my boyfriend was trying to. Um, put air in his tire and he freaking exploded the tire. He put too much air in it So now we're here at this bike shop trying to get him a new tire so we can go to the beach I'm gonna say this if you are not the kind of person who likes being hot and sweaty I know we're bike riding, but even besides the bike riding it is like so hot I'm like constantly sweating here. So just beware, but what's up? Tell them what happened. I just did This dude. Hey, it was in my we're in Costa Rica. That shouldn't <laughs> work. Yeah, like the meter, I guess, wasn't reading. I don't know what happened, but I'm over here waiting on the side for him, and all I hear is an explosion. And I'm, I run over there, I'm like, what the hell happened? <laughs> but yeah. Then I was like, I thought you got captured. I was looking for you. No, because I was just some wait on the side. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for that now, and then we're gonna go to another beach. We finally made it to Playa Hermosa, which I think that's where we're at, right? Playa Hermosa? The sand is so pretty. It's basically like black sand. basil with some olive oil maybe that's good it's our second full day in costa rica and we're gonna go on an atv tour today we're gonna go find some breakfast and then we're gonna go meet up at the atv spot but yeah, I'm outside obviously, so the camera's fogging up again. just got back from our ATV excursion day and it was literally so fun. We got soaked, like soaked, soaked. And then we decided to walk home in the rain because we were, we were already soaking wet. But um, it was so fun. And I'm just here to say that I swear, well, I don't know what it was, but like my skin feels so soft. Like does your skin feel so soft right now? Yeah. Like my face feels like I had like an exfoliation or something. And I'm like, was it because of the rain? I don't know, but my skin feels so nice right now. It's so weird and I like it. I didn't get to vlog on my camera because it was raining all day. So I didn't want to take it out and get it ruined. But I do have clips from my iPhone. Some of them are going to be vertical. I mean, horizontal and some of them will be vertical. So I apologize, but I want you guys to see what we did today.
oh by the way those braids that i did only lasted about three days i had to take them out yesterday last night because my hair was so naughty and they just were so frizzy it looked so bad so i'm just gonna be rocking the curls and i literally have to go out and buy shampoo conditioner a knot brush because i don't know why i didn't bring any of that and i don't know why in my head i thought my hair would last a whole week but no i definitely should have got my hair braided or like done box braids or something so that i wouldn't be here <laughs> doing my hair right now but i'm using this cantu oil i showed you guys once before it's the cantu avocado oil it has rosemary flaxseed and avocado and i'm putting it on my scalp and my hair we ended up going on the atv tour with this company called i think it was called backcountry or something they were great in our um little tour guide i think his name was romero he was so nice like so so nice we like hiked up or rode up on the atvs through the mountains and then we stopped at this little waterfall that was so pretty we got in the water which was cold at first but it actually felt really good i'm eating some popcorn that is dulce de leche flavor i've never seen that kind of popcorn before but we found it up here and it's really good and we're chilling until I don't know what, I don't think we're gonna do anything later because we had a long ass day. Today was a really good day. Oh, I'm gonna tell you guys the actual name of the um, excursion place that we use. It's in Jocko, it's called ATV Backcountry Tours. And they have other things, they have zip lining, um, a turtle island tour, and a bunch of other stuff. But I think we might go back to do the zip lining or just do another excursion with them because they were super, super helpful. <laughs> 